Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome. It is Sunday night, which means it is now time for the Weekly Dig. For those new to the stream, this is a weekly show where we talk about anime old and new. My name is Brent. These are my fabulous co-host, John. Konnichiwa, everyone. Konbanwa. And Steve. Hello, hello. And I think everything's working, strangely enough. So stay tuned for some technical difficulties later on. Um, yeah, and we are here tonight to talk about Erda the Third Reich. Um, and we're going to see where we end up in terms of, uh, of uh, YouTube like statistics and, and just getting like downloaded because it is about Nazis. Um, although, I mean, the most video game Nazis ever. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's like Castle Wolf threw up a show. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this is um, a 2002 all CGI anime sort of short film. It's a series of uh, five shorts edited together into a half hour um, uh, little mini movie. Um, and so I guess that's probably the first thing to, to mention is that uh, 2002 CGI. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's uh, there's not a lot to work with here. And uh, that is definitely something that is uh, very clear as we get into the thing. Um, Harsh, very harsh lighting. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> cell shading was not really a thing yet in a uh, in a a robust way, um, and uh, yeah, I will say. I guess we can start here. Uh, we were talking about this earlier. I think, um, given the limitations of the time, um, also giving it, and I, it should be pointed out, um, this was. Animated entirely by one man. Um, so directed, modeled, animated entirely by, by one person. So given all those things, um, I hesitate to call it like impressive on any objective level in the sense that like, <laughs> you know, oh my gosh, amazing. But, you know, good on him, I, I think is one of the things we said. Um, what were your sort of general reactions to the animation in general um laughing mm, yeah. a lot um and you know my look we watch anime so there is a suspension of disbelief that has to occur yeah yeah this tested that mightily <laughs> yes yes mightily mm -hmm. and um uh, but to your point you know if you were a um art student like at Micah here in Baltimore or something like that. And this was a, a class project that you did and you did this by yourself and you were able to put this together. Good on you. Yeah. Good on you. That's hard work. That's, you know, you're, you're making an effort. Mm -hmm. The the thing that kind of makes it, I don't want to say inexcusable, but I'm going to use inexcusable mm -hmm. is um, the fact that it has a budget mm. and it has some, as we found out, people behind it. Mm. And, you know, so it's it's kind of one of those things where it's just like, even with the technology at the time of, of the CGI, it was kind of like, could, could we have done a, just a few tweaks? Just a few? Are you saying you have notes, Steve? <laughs> I, I have notes, yes. yes. The, the non-director, non-talented drawing person has notes on the animation <laughs> of of this i um i i i also applaud the the, the, the one person show to make this happen uh it reminded me ever so vaguely of my late father-in-law had a program that he got on his computer it was probably around this time mm -hmm. that could do it would make like a little character mm -hmm. and then you could make it move and do things so mm -hmm. it reminded me kind of sort of of that like mm -hmm. the, the the some of the simplicity of the way that the the motion was mm -hmm. um i like some of the fighting action but mm -hmm. i think that is just purely played at five times speed so i'm sure it's <laughs> not you know i mean it's probably the really laborious choreography mm -hmm. there going on and then you just speed it up we can't really tell what's mm -hmm. going on like okay yeah. um certainly yes i could i could also uh, provide some notes but uh, it, 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 
I was very happy with the mechanical designs. I was very happy okay. with the mm-hmm. fact that a lot of the machinery that's in the, sh- the shorts is appropriate in design and mm-hmm. style to, to the era. Maybe not the speed functions of them or the gravity defying elements, but yeah, suspension disbelief again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's always interesting to me to see an anime that um, seem kind of inspired by almost like Hollywood action movies, where it's, you know, it's not trying. It, this actually reminded me of a little bit of Hellboy, where it's like, this is <laughs> kind of fantasy Nazis. Basically, right? Like the the technology is kind of fantasy technology, where it's like, yeah, these are technically things that, that existed, but we're not really taking it. We, we are then adding a level of kind of absurdity to the actual action and what happens and so forth and so on. Um, yes, like the screenshot you've got, right. the, Ket- the Kettenkrad goes maybe like twenty, <laughs> like maybe, and in this. You're right. It's like complete fantasy. The thing's going like 90 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it, can't, it doesn't do that. <laughs> like, just, what are you doing? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I can certainly appreciate the, that, yeah, Hellboy, I think it's a really good, that's a good point, mm. where it's like, it's that fantasy element to a real group of people that did happen in time. Yeah. So It was, yeah. it was a, almost as if, now that you guys are talking about this, it kind of occurred to me just now, um, almost as if, like, the original intent was to make it as serials, because you know they were done in mm-hmm. sections, yeah. much much like the old you know, mm. mo- like the movies back in the day mm-hmm. where you walked in and you saw the cartoon, you saw an action serial, and then you saw whatever the movie it was that you yeah. were there yeah. to see. So um, I kind of liked it, like mm-hmm. to think of it in in that direction. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that's a really good point. I, I think it is kind of almost really the mood too, where it's like you're getting this little snippet of an of an overall story in each of these. And it's why I think it's a little rough watching it this way because it was produced as five or six five minute episodes, and so I can as an O and A. So I can imagine if this was posted to a guy's website, you know, the first episode, and then you waited, you know, three months for the next one, and you got the next little bit. It's a very different experience than just okay, we're going to mainline all these things, right, and pair yeah. them all together. It's like ah, you're you're not doing yourselves any favor with this presentation method, unfortunately. Um. But yeah, um, actually, as you point, uh, John, in the chat, um, yeah, kind of early Ruby um, is is not a bad like uh, huh. way looking at it. Okay, um, yeah. yeah, technologically and artistically, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's 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 tough. Like, you almost have to like go in with zero expectations and then be pleasantly surprised <laughs> as opposed to going with any <laughs> expectations at all, because it's like okay, it could be worse, I guess. Um. But, uh, yeah, and then we get, you know, um, crazy action. Actually, John, you point out an interesting thing about um, um, the, the fight sequences. You can tell the director, um, like, storyboarded out and thought through the action sequences. Yes. Because um, of how, like, you know, you, you see people you know, grabbing weapons and a weapon gets, gets tossed out. Um, but, unfortunately, like, the, the, the low frame rate... And the just general kind of confusion of it make it just a little hard to follow. Yeah. Um, and some of the sound effects, again, notes. No, it's no notes yeah, you're absolutely right. Like some of the sound effects of like the ching, conk, ching, conk, like, ah. Uh, they, 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 yeah, sound was clearly not this person's strong suit. Yeah. And there's not yeah, much. So when, the when, 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 you know, the, the uh, reconverted warp speed capable space shuttle launched off and it was like pop 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 <laughs> and you're just like oh well underwhelmed yeah but again as a one person like effort yeah. mm-hmm. you, you did good grabbing especially for its time period trying to grab the sound bites to be able to like throw yeah. into something it's like mm-hmm. i guess we should probably be grateful it's not like okay the sound of a gunshot's gonna be me taking a wooden ruler and snapping <laughs> it on a on a desk <laughs> There you go. That's a gunshot. You're like, okay, so mm-hmm. you, you made some effort there. So yeah. I, I applaud that. Again. <laughs> well, and like, like that sequence with um, everything going on is weirdly quiet. Where like, yeah. um, like you don't have the train and you hear basically like a faint wind sound and then like occasional, and you'll hear like the gunshots. 
but like there's there's nothing in the sense of like um what would you call it um just like just the general immersive sound immersive sound yeah like there's yeah. there's it, it's almost like a uh, like an like a really early talkie where it's like you, you yeah. know we have these sounds but not all the sounds um which is a little off putting um yeah and very very yeah no ambient sound very very um over the top <laughs> I think would be the, the term now we listen to it in English which may not have been the, the right choice um it, yeah um this was weird though because we we noted like m- most of the voice actors here have done really you know solid work in other anime but uh not so much here yeah <laughs> yeah well, everybody has a bad day. The cast, you know, mm-hmm. by who was feeling not really it, engaged in this, perhaps? I don't know. Well, well, perhaps they just showed up and they said, this is a, what, oh, rent is due. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sure. That is always a chance. Mm-hmm. And the thing I, I had mentioned when we were watching it, but I, I didn't think to go look at it, it's like the Final Fantasy films. I remember mm-hmm. seeing them going renting one of them at Blockbuster. Mm-hmm. And it's like, so I don't know what time period this is. Mm-hmm. But I remember watching one of those Final Fantasy films. And I'm like, this is amazing, mm. you know, CGI. It's yeah. incredible. It's like I have no idea like where this movie is in time with any of those those mm. films I saw. To be <laughs> like, are you trying to get to like Final Fantasy level, or is this just absolutely yeah. here is a studio and a budget, <laughs> and here's this guy? Yeah, I'm, <laughs> like, yeah. like, huh? <laughs> so. I, I think I mentioned this a long time ago, mm-hmm. but and, and as we were talking about earlier and now, talking about the, the quality of the CGI of the technology and all that, mm-hmm. it reminded me of the Gogo 13 uh, movie, mm-hmm. and which showcased, and I, I don't mean it just says, oh, and we have some computer graphics going on in here. They're like, no, we have computer animation going on in this anime. And you go through the movie, and there's like a, literally a, a <clears throat> thirty second bit mm. of a white background mm. of, of what appears to be a block building, like Minecraft, mm. and like a Minecraft helicopter. Okay. Like you know, it's like everything mm-hmm. modular, and you know, it's just like you know, like the the, the rotators are like actually rods, mm-hmm. not connected mm-hmm. to the circle, and the you know what I mean. Yeah. So it's very very. And this was ninety whatever. And um, it, it just did not fit into the movie at all. Mm. And, you know, with the animation, it was a really weird jump cut of, of like, go, 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 I'm going to have to shoot down the helicopter. And it goes to the helicopter scene, and you're just like, uh, uh, huh? Mm. What? And then 30 seconds later, it cuts back to this. So, you know, when, when you kind of compare that, because this was probably made not that much, that many years later. Mm. than this Golgo uh, movie. So, you know, you kind of got to give it a little bit of respect in, in so far of like where the technology was for this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I totally agree. And there's a certain... Um, so, uh, Final Fantasy The Spirits Within, which I'm assuming is the, the movie John saw, um, came out two years before this. Um with a budget of $135 million. No. <laughs> which, I'm going to guess, Bert, I did not have that I'm, $135 I'm, million. I'm betting you're right. Um, yeah, so that is that is the thing. Um, um, but, yeah, it's... And again, it's one of those things where, you know, you're not going into it expecting. I'm hoping. <laughs> because that's not what you're getting out of this at all. Um, yeah, I mean, other I than heard that, of this thing called Erda. It's going to be the best thing ever. Let's have well, a watch that's party. The thing. Mm-hmm. Other than having seen that in that panel at um, mm-hmm. at uh, Triad years ago, that yeah. said, you know, here's Diary Van Frank, here's you know Barefoot Gen, here's mm-hmm. Erda, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I have never heard anybody talk about this show. Mm-hmm. I have I know. absolutely no information on it, and I was surprised as heck that we even found it. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, that was not easy <laughs> yeah um, and i you know not to be mean but I, you know it's not surprising right yeah <laughs> right mm-hmm. yeah um this was a media blasters release i believe by the way um yeah. it could, in case folks are wondering um i don't know how the uh the um 
We did not check the Japanese dub, so I have no idea what the sort of experience was. So that was just, you know, hey, you're on the street. Yeah, I have a thing. Hey, come, come here. here here's, yeah. here's 500 yen. You know, I don't know. Um, but yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, actually, that would be really interesting to, to watch in Japanese to see how the... Do they emote when they're, <laughs> when they're doing this or is this like yeah. flat presentation? Well, I, feel like... I don't know how I would judge that because, you know, Japanese acting is often very, you know, low in, in emotion. Um, so they, they they might want to go for that for this. I have no idea. Yeah. Um, it's weird. Um, I will say I think the storyline is well scaled to the time frame. <laughs> it's not too over ambitious yeah. for that. It's very much a kind of an action adventure story. Um, and I'm glad to say, um, there's a twist at the end, and for me at least, like. It does work. Right. Um, like, it, it, it hit me when it first um, happened, and when I watched it this, uh, this time around, I was like, oh, yeah, like, that, that, that still has some impact there, uh, which I, I did appreciate. Like, I, I think there, there is, um, you know, they set it up, it happens, you're like, oh, got it, okay, cool, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's not one of those things where it's like somehow, some way, like three quarters of the way, they, everyone just gave up on plot and just, <laughs> you know, yeah. you know mm-hmm. they, 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 this does have a beginning, middle, and end, yeah. and yeah. And, it, and it ties together, and it's and it's not, yeah, yeah. yeah you're absolutely right. It's it, it fits. Yeah, um, you know, not the most amazing story in the world, but no, nah. right. <laughs> okay, but I like I like the way they did the machines. I I mm-hmm. liked the way that the the warp uh, gate thing mm-hmm. worked out mm-hmm. in yes. the end. It's like I th- I thought that was really well done. It yeah. didn't explain why the planes didn't fall into it when, well, you know. when things, but never mind. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just just just, just yeah. run right by that one. Mm-hmm. Um, so you know there was a, there were definitely things to like in this. There was definitely some 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 efforts that were that were uh, more enjoyable than others. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. I think the best character was Janet screaming Yahoo over. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> Yahoo! Ah. Can you imagine them trying to direct this, this, and like it just, it's the same Yahoo, and they're just like, I, it, okay, yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll go with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but you know what? But you know what? So, you know what the thing about Erda that is very surprising now? Mm. It's not the worst one that we've ever seen. Certainly not. No. Oh, and it won't yeah. be the worst one we ever see, you know, going forward either. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And what we were talking about X arms, yes. earlier, yeah. and yes, that was interesting were. because it, that's a good example of where like, like, ten minutes into the first episode of X arms, I was like, I do not want to be watching this. <laughs> you know, right. I, I I want to be doing other things with my life at this point. It's, um, it's like take my exactly. out. <laughs> um, Give me back my ten minutes. Yes, <laughs> um, but I didn't feel that with Erda. Erda was like, okay, this is you know low quality but reasonably entertaining um right. and it's, it is funny how that that is kind of because you can definitely you can definitely draw comparisons you know animation wise and artistic wise between this and x arms but <coughs> excuse me any other thoughts on Earth of the third reich it's half an hour long so there's not much, <laughs> not much yeah in here yeah um <coughs> music you, you will you, what Oh yes, there was music. Um, <laughs> I, had, I, I honestly don't remember any of you yeah. just watching this and being like, oh, "I'm just okay." I just huh. well, you know what it was is for me. It was when we were watching this. It, it you know listening to the score, which I think was probably they went to because you know I've done this before where you just go, "I just need something that is royalty free." Mm-hmm. Here's your cue up generic dramatic music whatever which is fine actually because yeah. that's that's what it's supposed to do but it just seemed like there were points where it was just like you know the characters are talking the actions is going on and then the music cues in and it's just like okay we have to get to that you know it's just like like well well yeah we'll live that in here yeah. yeah it's very much kind of generic synth yeah kind of music where yeah. Like, hey, yeah music is happening whatever <laughs> Fine. See what what's the public domain music we've got available here? Let's plug that in. Yeah. Sweet. There's a uh, mystery science theater riff. Uh, 
the going through the credits and uh, um, demo button on Casio keyboard pressed by. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Let's work. Let's work with that. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I would. I I wouldn't recommend this mm -hmm. if anybody was like, "Should I see it?" Mm -hmm. I don't think you should avoid it necessarily. I mean, yeah. it's it's a half an hour, so mm -hmm. it's not a super huge drain, and you're not going to regret it. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, it, and it's just it's it's interesting enough to see how early two thousand CGI and how someone's concept of how to put the story together it's just it's it's informative mm -hmm. it's not good necessarily but depending on what you consider they good they tried yeah right. they tried right. the effort was put in they, right. they tried the effort was put in you can see this the is... seeds of how things will move forward into much better cgi <laughs> yeah. much better right. voice acting and much better music in turn you know all that stuff yeah yeah, it's very yeah nice. this this is definitely the um the anime you watch if you want to have a drinking game mm. um <laughs> if you want to if you're in between something, this is definitely something that is kind of like a, um, well, you know, as you pointed out, Brent, it, this is a 3 a.m. anime. <laughs> you know, this is something at the middle of the night you want to go to bed and you want to watch the last, one last thing before you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think if you're into CGI and like the history and development of CGI, very much to your point. Gentlemen, I'll be back. Yeah. Okay. The, uh, no the, uh, the rainstorm is hitting Baltimore. It's actually kidding me oh okay oh. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be right back um and steve's electronics yeah. not as good not 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 as good thing happening here um but yeah i think certainly as you're saying brent you know, if you're into cgi and you're looking you want to see how cgi is developed and how cgi has you know come to where we are today with things like pixar it's yeah. it's probably not a bad thing to to check into mm -hmm. just take a look yeah so everyone else yeah <laughs> <laughs> I guess if you're into like you know, um, over the top evil Nazi stories, I guess that, that might interest you too. But besides, I mean, other than that, well, again, the the detail on the mechanical elements. Oh yeah. So yeah. the Kubelwagens, right. the Kettenkrad, the the aircraft. You know, what I mean, that somebody like not somebody the solo guy had a really good eye for getting yeah. those things right. Mm -hmm. Their sure. you know proportions are correct. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the, like I said, the fantasy part of how fast they go a little off, yeah. but. Um, it's just an interesting collection of someone's obvious attention to detail. So that's cool. Yeah. That's very cool. Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Romanov Higa. I'm probably mispronouncing. Yeah, that. sorry about that. My uh, Anna's arms. She's only five feet tall, so her arms go uh, far. Gotcha. So I had to put up all the windows before we drowned. Very fair enough. Um, On the ninth story, or get electrocuted. One way or another. So yeah, so there's that's definitely. A good point. Um, so yeah, so um, for what it's worth, uh, uh, Romanov did go on to work on other um, productions. So he did a Masamune Shiro CGI uh, work a couple of years later, and he's done a few other things since. It does seem like he has moved into a professional career in this, which is you know good for you. Um, so I wonder if that's a if that's a a professional name not his real name because yeah. romanov Higa seems like a very unique name yeah yeah i do not know um i am actually looking up now on imdb that might give us some more information but of course being imdb it has decided to load some resource in the background and lock on that so it's not actually loading the page so <sighs> gotta love it um let me see if i can Hit that again, see if uh, we will luck out. But anyway, um, so good on you, I guess, for, <laughs> for, for, for moving along with things. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, so that's Order of the Third Reich. Um, you know, if you already own a copy, cool. You supported uh, anime. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> probably not. Um, but, um, or you're helping someone going, how do I get rid of this? Please, God, say, this, someone take this off my head. Yes, exactly. Hey, in 10,000 years, it'll be really valuable. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, all the CGI that will remain um, after the apocalypse. <laughs> oh, God. Look how primitive their CGI was. No, no, no. no. Don't judge us based on that. <laughs> exactly. um, so, actually, well... Um, Going to IMDb, 
which does not list. There is a Romanov Higa, who okay. is a storyboard artist and scenario movie graphics artist for um, a bunch of the Pokemon video games, as well as the <clears throat> Dragon's Dogma TV series. Um, so yeah, so I hopefully um, he's he's found a stable income from that. Who knows? Oops. All right, that will do it. That is it for that. Um, so we'll be right back with uh, some more recent anime. See you in just a few minutes.